वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियोस एंड टेकिंग वैल्यू आउट ऑफ इट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दोज हु आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब एंड स्प्रेड इट अमंग्स मेनी फ्रेंड्स सो दैट दे कैन आल्सो टेक द वैल्यू आउट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई होप यू आर लाइकिंग द वीडियो एंड गिव योर वैल्यूएबल कमेंट्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन योर कमेंट्स ओनली आई एम कमिंग आउट ऑफ दिस वीडियोस ऑन डिटेल्ड पाइपिंग कनेक्शंस फॉर इक्विपमेंट्स इन एचवीसी सिस्टम You must have gone through the two videos which I already posted. One on the pumps and second one is on the air handling units. And this is the third equipment which we'll be covering in today's session. So welcome once again into this channel and into the new topic, which is going to be equipment piping connections in HVAC system. And today's topic is chillers, and we're talking about water cooled chillers. These are little water cooled chillers are basically. is called like this which are there in front of you in the picture and the, the schematic way is represented over here about what kind of parts which are used what kind of elements which are used while connecting water cooled chiller let's deep dive and as i said in our earlier videos also let us look at what are the elements first you know the first element has to be the chillers right to which we are going to connect the pipes the next element is butterfly wall which is an isolating wall Uh, you know to take care of any shutdowns or any maintenance we isolate this and we can isolate the chillers then we have another wall or a balancing wall now the balancing walls are used to balance the flow which is going through the chillers this is very important because chillers are designed for particular capacity right one of the important parameters in arriving at the capacity is the temperature difference coming out of in and out and second is the what flow is going in so these two important parameters will tell you what is the capacity if you push more water then you will have lesser temperature difference hence it is important to have right flow which will go through the chiller and that is determined by balancing walls then we have flexible bellows which will you know avoid any vibration coming up from chiller to the pipes and to the building structures we use thermometers to get the readings of temperature from the lines we use pressure gauges to you get the readings of pressure in the lines water pressure test points and the ball walls these are some of the important elements which goes into piping connection let's deep dive let us look at this is water cooled chiller and we are chill water or condenser water in the the connection remains same that's why i thought it will be one uh, go only we can look at it you don't have to go for multiple videos butterfly wall isolation walls then we have pressure gauge thermometer then a test point a test points can be used either to take readings of temperature and pressure gauge and also we can use this for multiple other purpose like pms and other things so this is a provision which is available over here then we have flexible bellows a ball wall for purging of the air so it is better that we have one handy wall over here and then it's connected either through a flange but nowadays it is connected through a grooved coupling so generally grooved coupling is used over here similar over here The ball wall. The purpose of ball wall here is to drain the water. If you want to do a maintenance on this chiller, right? Then we have flexible bellows, a test points, pressure gauge, thermometer. Then this is a balancing wall. Now this actually helps in the required in balancing the required flow into this chiller. So this is very important wall here, which sets what is the flow which is going in. Then we have isolation wall, and then the line goes up. So this is in terms of connections related to water cooled chillers. This is how they look. Now look at chiller wall is over here. We have butterfly wall over here. We have balancing wall over here. Temperature gauges, pressure gauges, butterfly wall over here. This is an actual view of installation. Quality is always the result of excellent work without compromise. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Please follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. You can also look at interesting blogs on ajaskazi.com. The two more announcement before I end my presentation. One is course which is on project risk management available on Udemy at very very affordable cost. Very valuable course. It will give you a different insights on how we manage the projects and be particular with the risks on the project. The second course is on project management importance. This is a basic course which will talk about the terminologies, basics of project management, the processes, the knowledge areas, why we do, what mistakes we do, how we can avoid those mistakes, and project integration. this is a bundle of a very very important elements in project management available again on this link 
both these links are posted in the description box please click them and get to the course this course are very valuable for the ones who are who want to be you know in this nation building stream of project management who want to learn more if they are already in the project management and if you want and one who want to excel into the career of project management this course will be helpful to help you thank you very much for your patience